So we're doing a test, acrylic latex interior, exterior satin. This is a uh, pretty top of the line, you could say, Sherwin-Williams paint. It has a lot more resin as its exterior. So we're going to do a test and obviously apply this paint to a brick. So this paint is not intended on any masonry surface. And what we're going to do is we're going to do a test with a sole silicate which is a potassium silicate stain but the difference is that there's silica in there so what we're going to help this brick to do is the product is going to bind like a super glue to this existing paint without having to remove the paint so the paint has had some time to cure and what we're going to do is take our sole silicate and then essentially just apply it to the brick so in this case we would not be able to stain over the brick but this product has a pH between a 10 and 11 so it's a little bit lower than a traditional potassium silicate and what this film is intended to do is to bind with the existing paint so we're going to put on a little bit more product we're going to let that cure just like so and then come back so what you'll notice with our sole silicate products again this is a stain that could be applied on existing paint like we did on this brick. If you take a look at the consistency of a straight potassium silicate, notice how much thicker it is. And what it's gonna do is if you don't stir and mix it every now and then, you see those marks right there? It's gonna start to dry up and you're gonna have like little rocks versus like a latex acrylic where you have a film. That's the difference. What we've done with the sole silicate compared to the potassium silicate here is it's more like a latex acrylic paint notice it's a lot more fluid and it's a lot more or it's closer to that of a wet on wet application so you'll notice the bucket there on the sides it doesn't dry as quickly which is actually a good thing because it's easier to use than a traditional stain if you will it's still thick but compared to a stain um, it's a lot more fluid. So in this case, take a look at the top lid. It's a lot more just like a gel-like substance versus the sole silicate looks more like a paint. The silica in this product is going to help to bind the potassium silicate into the existing paint that's covering this brick first coat of our sole silicate on existing paint this is about four to six hours later we'll apply a second coat to the final right now it's already adhered to the existing paint about 12 hours later we're going to apply a second coat the first coat has taken shape it's not flaking so we're going to apply a second coat for a final about 18 hours later we're putting on a second coat on the sole silicate since we had existing paint we did not have to apply a primer so you're simply putting on two coats and you see how this white, this is a standard white that, we use, that we're using on a brown and we don't see any variations. Now you'll only use our water glass primer in the event that there is no paint in certain sections. So you wanna put a primer in, in that. So hypothetically, if there's a brick next door and it's bare and then here you have paint in this section you're going to put the primer in so it goes right and penetrates into the cavity if there's any loose flakes that you remove of the paint 
you're going to put primer in that section, if that makes sense. Any walls that are latex acrylic that have paint throughout the entire perimeter, you don't need to use primer. You're simply going to use the sole silicate that we offer only. There you go. There's the two coats. We're going to come back once it has time to dry. So we have uh, at least three hours later, the sole silicate had time to cure and absorb into the existing paint. And if you notice, here's a traditional silicate. There's no paint underneath, underneath this layer. You'll notice the same consistency. And even though the product is gonna take 12 to 24 hours to cure, if you do a scratch test, you can tell it's adhered. It's not flaking, and it's similar to the traditional silicate. So what you're seeing is same consistency. The product binds into the underlayment or the original surface of a acrylic paint, in this case by Sherwin-Williams. We've now applied over it. So it's basically permanent with the existing paint. It does allow breathability to uh uh to, to to enter and if the original paint was more than two or three years old the original resin that was in the paint is basically all but baked off so all you see is just the leftover of the actual pigment so this is the best solution to not have an media blast uh remove your existing paint and you're not putting a traditional paint on top of paint you're actually putting a product that is breathable um, is UV protected and will give you a natural look in a nutshell. This could also be used on the inside of your drywall by using a interior primer versus an exterior. So this product will also bind to your interior drywall if you're looking to have an eco-friendly um, interior space.